What's good, YouTube? Nanny94 here to bring you another episode of Ass Anime Studio Simulator. In the last episode, you guys, we left off where you, Mayumi was telling us about the voice actors. So now we'll be heading over to Neshi Studios to get some updates on the progress. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. I've already tried recording this episode twice, and both times something has gone on. Either Yukari has given up on her dream of directing these, the anime, or Sumiko has been offered by another company to work on anime stuff because they need somebody like her apparently and it's just been going on and on and on sumiko left again just now when i tried to record the other episodes and it was apparently because yukari cares about nobody but herself i have been actually trying my best to figure out how we're going to win the harem route like this is the route that i want to succeed the most because i like harem anime The prospect thrills her. She'll finally be able to see her storyboards come to life. What will the keyframes look like? Will the animation be like she imagined it? She can barely breathe for anticipation. I wish I could come, but I'm swamped with work right now. I've been experimenting with composing music by using storyboards as a reference. Between that and handling the voice actors, it looks like I'll be busy for a while. I won't have a chance to visit Inoshi Studios with you anytime soon. I should be fine by myself, even though it's nicer to have you with me. Alright, if no one needs anything, I'm heading over now. Bye. Bye. Yes, I agree with you completely, sir. This advertising will help a project greatly. I'll get back with to you soon with the good news. Shinsuke hangs up the phone. Who was that? An advertiser interested in working with us. He said it was a sure success advertising prom program that can lift our publicity sky high pretty expensive, but it'll be worth it. Are you sure he can be trusted? Of course. He says he's worked with many companies before. I don't know. It sounds kind of shady to me. Refuse it. This isn't a worth risk worth taking. Eventually, you'll learn to judge when something sounds too good to be true. I guess you're right. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. Anyone could be fooled by a comment. Yeah, what he should have done was actually um, research the fact that it's doing this or this or this or this. And right now, guys, I'm actually looking at a desktop, a gaming desktop, to actually work on. I want it to be somewhat affordable, at least under a grand, but still within my price range-ish. So if anyone has any um, suggestions for a gaming desktop, please let me know in the comments. That way I can do other games than just that, and maybe the Elgato can actually work properly without some sort of weird lag, or it's been doing some sort of weird buggy fucking thing, where half the screen, when I'm looking at the playback of, of the recording, half the screen goes a uh, little staticky, kind of? It's uh, hard to explain without you guys seeing it. I might upload it later just to show you guys what I'm talking about. Sure. You could inform the director in, in advance of her visit, so this time when he's waiting for her when she arrives. Hello, I'm here to check up on the current progress for Mad Chemistry. Do you have anything new to show me? Of course, let's sit down at the table over there while I set up the laptop to show you the key new keyframes. By the way, would you like coffee or tea? I'll have some tea, thank you. He looks towards the reception desk. Could you get some tea for you, could he? Staff member nods and disappears into the studio. Here are the finished keyframes for the first episode of Mad Chemistry. What do you think? Everything looks fine until KG attends the first meeting of the Science Club. It's a critical scene to set up the plot and introduce the characters, but the introductions have so little personality to them, you can't help but wonder if they skip some of the keyframes. Wait a minute, this doesn't look like what I gave you. Are you sure this is the right thing? She doesn't know what to answer he can possibly have to make this better. It's not like the animation studio would work on something completely different just for fun. And it's getting too close. To, it's too close to be from a different show. What in the world is going on? Of course I am. We used your storyboards as a reference down to the very last detail. However, they weren't entirely clear at times. Didn't we discuss this when you came in for your consultation? That's right. Sweat beads on the back of her neck. I fixed up the storyboards and brought them back. They shouldn't look like this. Calm down. I can get the storyboards for you to look at, and then we'll figure out what's going on. Yes, please do. Perhaps it's just a miscarriage communication. 
Give me a minute while I head back to my desk to grab the files. He disappears to the door behind the reception disc and he disappears inside. Once the director leaves, Yukari takes a few deep breaths to calm down. No matter whose fault the problem is, she's in trouble. They can't use the keyframes for mad chemistry. Some will be salvageable, but most of Inuxia Studios' work was in vain. It'll set them a whole week behind and probably force them to dip into their funds even further. Oh, I checked up with the studio more last week. I could have prevented this. You did! I literally clicked the button to say check on Anushi Studios, but apparently they're fucking closed on the weekends. Um, It's Sumiko, I believe. Oh my god! <laughs> Fuck this game in the face. Twice. Fuck you, Sumiko. Let's try this again. See if there's any way to avoid that fucking conversation. Call authorities to inform them about the bag. Like I said, I knew this part was coming where... When she bumped into Sumiko, that was the bad part. And then apparently Sumiko's being a fucking cunt! Uh, check with Mayumi. Hello, Mayumi, I'm at an NG Studios right now and we have a problem. I saw the keyframes for episode 1 and they're wrong. Oh no, the director says the team followed our storyboard, so do you have any idea what could have happened? I'm sorry, can't think of anything. Maybe you should try asking the others, okay? How about Shunsuke, since Sumiko wants to be a cunt? Hey Shunsuke, I'm kind of in a bind over here. We seem to have had a case of miscommunication. What sort of miscommunication? They produced the wrong keyframes, but the director says they followed the storyboard. Do you have any idea how this could have happened? Alright, try to calm down. Give me a moment to think this through. Okay. She tries to compose herself, but the silence on the other end is deafening. Her heart feels like it's going to explode. How can Shinsuke seem so calm? Are there differences drastic? Could you have somehow given them the draft storyboards instead of the final ones? I don't know. She takes a deep breath and tries to concentrate. It's possible if they work with a draft without my instructions. I can see how resulting in the key frames made, they made, but how? Try to recall everything that happened between finishing the storyboards and taking them to the studio. Did anything significant occur? Anything unusual? It's difficult to focus over the pounding of her heart, but Yukari forces herself to. She worked up on the storyboards on Wednesday. On Thursday, she signed a contract with the studio. On Friday, she spoke to Yumiko and Sum Sumiko for the gathered files she needed, and damn. What is it? Right before I went to the studio that day, I knocked, Sumiko near, knocked into Sumiko near the desk and papers I fell everywhere. I was carrying fail everywhere. We must have gotten our files mixed up. But how? When we started the storyboards, we asked Yuko and Sumiko for feedback, remember? If they left the, some of the draft storyboards on their desk, I see what you mean. What a mess. I hope you can resolve this issue with Inoshi Studios. Let us know if you need any help. Thanks, I'll see what I can do. Just as she finishes her conversation with Sunsuke, the director returns. Good! Sumiko wasn't being a cunt this time! Fucking bitch! Here are the storyboards. While the directions were a bit vague, we tried to follow them exactly. Yukari takes a look at them, and to her horror, her suspicion was right. Not only do they like painstaking notes and instructions, they aren't even the version she showed the director during the consultation. She mixed up the storyboards when she collided with Sumiko that day. She opens her mouth to explain, but can't find the words. How can they solve this problem? They can't go with the keyframes as they are currently. That would be a disaster. Deadlines can't be adjusted, so they'll have to either increase production speed at Inoshi Studios or find freelancers instead. Either way, either solution will require them to spend even more funds on animation. Maybe they'll run out of funds and not be able to produce mad chemistry at all. Yukuri takes a few deep breaths and tries to calm down, down and sound as though she had the situation under control, even though she seems like screaming, or crying, or both. I'm afraid there's been a mistake. I accidentally gave you the wrong the draft storyboards, which are totally different from the main storyboards. We can't use these keyframes. So once we're on a tight deadline to finish Mad Chemistry, would it be possible for you to get te your team to speed up the animation work once I get you the proper storyboards? Otherwise, I'm afraid we won't make it in time to air the show on television. Her voice sounds distant, as if it's coming far away. She's almost impressed about how calm she sounds. 
So that explains why the detail storyboards seemed so unclear. We can speed up the animation work, but although we'll have to charge an additional fee. How much? $15. Good! It's an amount I can fucking pay this time! She almost accepts, but bites her tongue. It's a large sum of money, and she can't see another solution. It isn't the sort of decision she should make on her own. She's caused enough problem already. Alright, I'll have to dis- Okay, I'll have to discuss this with my team members. I understand. Is there anything you'd like to discuss? No? no? Thank you for showing me the storyboards. I'm really sorry this happened, but we'll try to find something out. We'll try to find a way to work it out. I'm sorry about that speed rant. That speed reading rant. I'm sorry, this game's just starting to actually irritate me and take it out on me. And I really want to see the finalized version, like, where we can beat the game. And I can't beat the game if I can't figure out what the hell I need to do. So if any of you actually own the game or whatever, please play, let me know if you find any, th any ways to actually win or whatever, get the thing aired on television. I don't even care if it's a flop. As long as we can get the damn thing aired, I'll feel good about it. The words ring hollow in her ears. Find a way? What way? There's no good way out of this, and she has no one to blame but herself. She trudges out of Inoshi Studios with a heavy heart. Each step weighs her down further. How can she face her team after this? How can she look at them in the eyes and tell them that mad chemistry might be doomed because of her mistake? Oh wow, cool. I'm sorry, I was messing with the little remote on the thing, because it didn't seem to be working. It still kind of doesn't. Ah! There we go. Ah, much better. I was hearing a dulled thing. I actually wasn't hearing my computer. Now I can hear the computer and this properly. Maybe she doesn't have the right to be the director of Mad Chemistry after all. Please don't. Please don't. Okay. I was... <sighs> I was panicking for a minute there. I was going to say, please don't say she gave up. Please don't say she gave up. Because you never want to give up on your dreams. I have way too many dreams to actually attempt to give up. And there are quite a few of them that I've been struggling with. One of them is actually trying to do this as, like, a hobby thing. And I do like actually recording videos and posting them. And it's fun for me. It's entertaining. I like being able to have the opportunity to do this. I'm actually grateful for my job for giving me this wonderful opportunity to actually have everything I need. <sighs> anyway, when Yukiri arrives at the studio, her friends greet her at the door. She walks inside with a sigh. Their anxious questions, anxious questions bounce off of her as she struggles to find a way to explain the situation. Maybe she can say it in a way that doesn't sound so bad. So, how'd it go? All of Yukari's hopes are for a neat and tidy explanation to vanish. It's a disaster. We're one week behind schedule due to my stupidity. What? What happened? Your guess was right, Ben? She nods mutely and once again feels like she might cry. She let them all down. I'm sorry, everyone. I gave Anushi Studios the draft storyboards by mistake. All the animation work they did last week was for nothing, and now... She trails off and shakes her head. It won't happen again, I promise. I was gonna try and turn that down and see if that fixes the PC microphone issue. 
She sighs, how can she convince them when she doesn't believe it herself? Between voice acting, music, and marketing, there's so many ways she could screw up. She has no grounds to promise them anything now. Okay, when you want to make sure you don't want to repeat a mistake, you have to understand the cause. How did this happen in the first place? Yukari can't answer. The incident in that day replays in her mind over and over. If she paid just if she just paid attention to where she was going, they wouldn't be in this mess. The silence stretches on until Shunsuke and until Shunsuke intervenes the six blah, 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 blah. Until Shunsuke intervenes to explain. Right before Yukari took the storyboards to the studio, there was a mix up. The papers were accidentally shuffled. Wait, you don't mean when we ran into each other, do you? Yes. Oh no, I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. We went through this, remember? You were standing still. I just zoned out and crashed into you. Nevertheless, Sumisko seems distraught. But you don't, don't you remember? You wanted to go through the pages one last time. And I said, I said we already checked them not too long ago, so there was no point. If I had to let you check, I'm the director. I should have looked at things over again anyway. I should have trusted my instincts. Oh no, this is my fault too. Yuko, already quiet voice, drops to a, almost a whisper. I filed the drafts on Monday. If I'd looked more closely at them, I'd have realized they weren't the right ones. But I didn't because I thought I knew what they were. I'm sorry. No, don't blame yourself. Now both artists look depressed, which makes Yukari feel even worse. The brunt of the error rests on her. She didn't mean to make them feel guilty. Okay, everyone. Enough of this. There's no sense in moping around the studio. Yukari, what can we do? I discuss it with the director of Inoshi Studios. We'll have to fork out a large sum of money in order to finish Mad Chemistry on time. She takes a deep breath. And even if we pay the extra fee, I'm not sure we'll make it on time unless Yuko and Sumiko work overtime until Mad Chemistry is back on schedule. I'm really sorry about this. Yukuri bows her head and apologizes profusely to everyone. No matter who shares the blame, she's mostly responsible. A director shouldn't make oversights that leave the her team members working in overtime. And it's not like she can compensate them either. They never had enough funds for salaries, which feels especially painful when she asks them to work extra. Cheer up, Yukari. Nobody expected things to end up this way. We'll be fine working overtime to catch up. Yeah, don't be so hard on yourself. If I checked... But I'm the director. I handed the files over to the animation studio without knowing for sure what they were. How could I have been so stupid? Didn't any of you hear me? We can't change what happened. It's no use crying over spilt milk, as they say. literally hearing me bumping the microphone on the headset and I know the Blue Yeti is the one I'm recording with. That's why I did what I just did. You could have jumped, startled by her friend's sudden shout. Oh. Okay, I'll do this then. No. Okay, fine. You go up here. Mayumi isn't as quiet as Yuko, but it's rare to hear her raise her voice in frustration. Stop it, all of you! Let's look on the bright side. What bright side? If we hadn't encountered any major obstacles since we started working on Mad Chemistry, this is the first one. You're right, it's almost like we were due, so let's not be too disheartened. We'll make it work out. Indeed, and as for the cost you mentioned, didn't you negotiate with the director about it? No, why? Most of the time, companies state a higher price than what they e expect to get to leave the room for negotiation. We should be able to seal a deal about 20% off the ch price, he told you. Well, if what you're saying is true, then it's worth a try. Why haven't we final- we haven't finalized a deal yet, right, Yukuri? Yukuri nods, relieved she didn't accept the offer right away. We can try, but how do I negotiate with them? I'm clueless about things like this. I can help you. I'll teach you the skills you need to successfully negotiate a better, better deal. You're a lifesaver. We better get back to work. We don't have time to waste. Especially not now. You can cringes and wishes she wishes again she checked the storyboards one last time before handing them over. At least Yuko filed them away safely. If she was in the habit of discarding the drafts and of discarding drafts instead, it would have been a nightmare. On the other hand, the old drafts wouldn't have been there to mix up with the final storyboards. Let me know when you're ready to compose when you're ready, Yukari. Don't t don't rush. Take some time to compose yourself. Yukari bites back an irritated retort. 
He's right. While she doesn't want to waste any time, he, she is not in any sort of state to learn about negotiating. She doesn't want to renegotiate. She wants to turn back the clock and to undo the mistake before it happens. Not an option unless someone built a time machine since yesterday. She half expects the comment to prompt a story about Sumiko about tra from tra from Sumiko about time travel or a lecture from Shunsuke about the infeasibility of such a thing, but no one says anything. The studio is silent and tense as everyone works. Yuguri sits down at her desk and tries to focus on the positives. Mad chemistry hasn't completely fallen apart yet. Well, that's something. By afternoon, she feels a little better and she marches to Sunsuke's desk. I'm ready. Are you sure? I'm ready as I'm going to be. The only thing that makes me feel better is a sense of progress, which right now means that how be what means learning how to get us a better deal. One of the most pr important rules of negotiating is to keep a cool head. In other words, don't yell like that. He sounds as infuriatingly calm as ever. You could even resist the urge to grab him and shake him until he's shows an appropriate level of distress over the situation. Okay, I'm calm. Shinsuke teaches Yukari some basic negotiation skills. She needs to find a good balance for the price so the director won't reject her offer outright, but while putting it in a comfortable range for the present budget. I'd say about ten dollars, to be honest. We've only got twenty-three, and we need that twenty we need at least thirteen of it to at least do two um, outsourcing projects while also still working on the other shit. She needs to find a good budget for a price of the direct putting in a comfort. Ideally, her price will leave room for him to give a counter offer. Persuasive speech is also important. Numbers aren't everything. You need to sound confident and self-assured. So basically, the exact opposite of how I feel now. Yes, you should. You still need to calm down before you try and make a deal. Relax. It's not the end of the world, but it might be the end of bad chemistry. Stop that. You'll doom the deal if you go in with a bad attitude. Probably doom it anyway. No, you won't. Come on, think positively. I can't be optimistic right now. I'm sorry. I don't think I can pull this off. Yukari shugs listlessly as she returns to her desk. Sure. In that silence that follows, a gloomy atmosphere falls over the studio. What should Yukari focus on today? I'd say raise funds, to be honest. No! Wait. I forgot I quick saved in one of the previous episodes. We're just gonna go until, you know. No, 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 no. Uh oh. How'd you win $15 from a phone call? Sometimes I listen to my favorite radio station while working. It doesn't affect my work versus and see. I promise, it actually inspires me. Today, they had a prize ready for the 11th person to call the station. That's fantastic, congratulations. Thank you. Since that's a fair amount of money, why don't you add some of it to studio's funds? Sure, that's fine, especially since I used studio time for this without asking permission. How much do you have in mind? I don't want 100%. Like, I'd say 25%. No problem. Yeah, $3. That's fine, I don't care. You could be informed the director of her... T... Tea is a very Japanese thing. Or at least in anime-wise, it is a very Japanese thing. I have yet to watch an anime where a character drunk coffee. But if somebody does, please let me know. I would love to actually watch that. I don't even care what the anime is about, either. Like, I will actually sit down, I will watch the entire fucking thing in one sitting. Of course I am. We use your storyboards as a detail. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna fix this. I'm literally just gonna tap this until we figure it out. We have $26. So 
So now we don't have to worry about raising funds in case the deal goes south. $15 isn't a bad deal, though. Since we're doing this, I'm going to actually just speed through it since I've already read all this shit and this will make a longer episode. A long episode. A planned long episode longer because I wanted this to be the finale episode. But it might not be the finale episode if I keep running into problems where Yukari either quits, Megumi either quits, Sumiko and Yukio get picked up by another thing, Sunsuke over here gets fucking picked up by as a writer by some sort of anime studio and it really sucks because it's like let them work on their first project you don't know how good they are don't just draft them like an asshole but now if we spend the $25 we'll still have like fi uh, $15 we'll still have like $15 $16 to for uh, the outsourcing stuff By the way, that wasn't a shout. Come on. I'm not going to raise funds this time around in case it comes back to bite us in the ass. I'm literally just hitting enter right now, just to speed it up till we get to the like part where we pay the director. I want her to relax, but I want her to actually cheer everything up. Yukari takes a few minutes to compose herself. No matter how she feels, she needs to boost the team's morale. Spirits. Low morale will have a terrible effect on their productivity, and they're also her friends. She doesn't want to see them sad. Despite their optimistic words, Mayumi and Sumiko are visibly gloomy. Yuko seems depressed, hunched over her desk without even a trace of a smile. As for Shinsuke, who can say for sure, but he doesn't look happy. Alright everyone, let's not focus on what went wrong. The past is the past, what's done is done. All we can do is press forward and look to the future. It does? You know what's really hilarious is that's almost line for line of the Lion King. I'm actually not even joking, I recently watched the Lion King with my little brother. and That is almost line for line what Rafiki says to Simba. And yes, Rafiki is the name of that baboon. But only one character in the entire show series of that have actually called him Rafiki besides himself. And I'm not going to say who that is. If you know, leave it, leave it in the comments. A little trivia there. And I'll let you know in the next episode of Anime Studio Simulator if there is one. Yuko suppresses her urge to glare at her and smiles instead. It does. We're stronger than this. Besides, think of this like... A test. A test? Now everyone's gazes are on her. Anime production isn't easy. If we crumble in the face of this setback, how would we ever make it in the anime industry? We'll overcome this, prove we're ready. Yeah! Are we gonna let ourselves be defeated this easily? No! Who's gonna make it to the end? We are! Why? Because mad chemistry is awesome! Everyone cheers as though they've already overcome all their obstacles, and for a moment, Yukari wonders if she overdid it a little. Nevertheless, at least everyone's smiling again. Yukari, are you ready to work on a deal for the an animation work? From the tone of his voice, he, was, he's, he worries she still isn't in a good state of mind for handle negotiations. She's almost there, give me a moment. She takes a deep breath and tries to get her act together. She heads over to the Nashi Studios feeling as depressed as she does currently. It could lower their chances of getting a better price. Shunsuke said confidence was important after all. But she doesn't look com- she knows she doesn't look confident. Remember, the perfect deal is one where both parties feel they've won the negotiation. Stay calm, and you can do this. Here. These are the story finished storyboards I accidentally filed that time. She checks them over to make sure they're correct, and then heads to the studio. Hello, I'm here to see Takashi. He's been expecting you. Yukari turns to see the director, seated at the table where they held their previous discussions. It is, however, nice to see how an anime is created from this way, and it makes me wonder if the game developers actually did go to an anime studio to actually kind of research it. And if that's the case, I'm giving you props when I actually do sit down and review the game after writing the script and everything. 
Hello, I assume you've discussed the situation with your team members. Yes, in order to keep Mad Chemistry on schedule, we need the animation team to work faster. I understand. As I said yesterday, we'll need to add an additional fee of $15. My team and I think seven should be more than enough to cover it. She puts on a valiant look and hopes that perceived confidence will convince him to accept her offer. Deep in her heart, however, she can't help but picture the worst possible un outcome. The director walking away from the deal completely. Mm, her heart hammers. Mm, is that a good sign or a bad one? Well, it's not a no, but it's not a yes. So, possibly? It feels like an eternity as Yukari waits for his response. All she can do is silently pray for success. Since Mad Chemistry is a smaller project than we min when many we deal with, I can see how a lower ex price would be acceptable. However, he's counteroffer. Hey, ten dollars. That knocks off five. She feels like she might pass out, but she reminds herself that the Shunsuke told her to expect a counteroffer once she named her price. So far, so good. Well. Their negotiations continue for a little longer, with each of them suggesting prices until at last they reach an amount of money they can both agree on. Very well, then I'll procure a new contract for a speed up of $10. Yep, I figured. Like, $10 is a proper amount I was expecting, too. Yukari lets out a long breath and leans back. She did it. Despite all her fears, she pulled off a successful deal with Ayashi Studio. Did they even for- Did they forget to double check again? It's in Nashi Studios! Jesus Christ, people! Proofread! Before you finalize the product! Her blunder with the storyboards could have been disastrous, but she managed to min minimize the damage it caused. Aside from the price, though, there's one other concern you should know about. Concern? What is it? She hopes she doesn't sound as panicked as she feels. We won't be able to get Mad Chemistry back on schedule on our own. Our animation team isn't large enough to work at an accelerated rate while keeping our other projects on track as well. She grits her teeth. He couldn't have told her that before for their negotiations. That means your studio members will either have to work overtime or you'll have to hire freelancers. I re recommend a combination of both. In this industry, it's easy to miss deadlines, so it's best to have a safety net. Got it. I'll see what we can do. It isn't ideal, but at least production of ad chemistry will still continue while she minimized con good consequences of her blunder with the storyboards. Hey, Yukari, I've got good news for you. Oh, what is it? Good news is something they definitely need. The atmosphere in the studio hasn't recovered. Do you remember what we discussed last week? I'm not sure. Everything before her discovery of the animation is mixed up blur. Last week feels like it was years ago. We talked about making an appointment this Friday with the voice actors I hired. Shut up, Indiana. I don't know anybody in Indiana. Do you guys hate that? When you get a phone when you get a phone call from a number you don't know and you don't know anybody in that state, and it's usually an issue you have with brand new phones. So it's like all of a sudden a bunch of numbers come call you for no reason other than the fact that, hey, it's a number, let's call them. And then you look at the number and thinking it's somebody you know, and it's really not. We talked about making an appointment this Friday to, with the voice actors I hired for Mad Chemistry to record their lines. I managed to secure a slot for the whole afternoon. We should be able to make great progress on voice acting for Mad Chemistry. That's wonderful. Finally! Good news for a fucking anime! Simulator. Studio. Thing. She sighs. You don't look happy. No, I'm glad it worked out so well. You've done a good job with everything. Maybe you should have been the director of Mad Chemistry instead of me. You agree. You even managed to stay positive after what happened. I can't. I think about it over and over, and I wish I handled things differently. I should have looked over the storyboards again before taking the them to the studio. I should have checked on their progress. I should have... You're a wonderful director. I wouldn't be cut out for your role at all. Ha! I mean, everyone has their own stra strengths and weaknesses. You're a leader. I'm not. How have I been a good leader? You've got investors from Ad Chemistry. You delegate tasks to everyone. You always do your best to keep everyone on your team happy. Not to mention, you're working on the storyboards, too. The storyboards? That's what started this mess. Without you, would we even have storyboards? Sure, Shinsuke would have handled them. I've needed this his help enough, often enough already. And half the time, I need your help. You probably boost the team's morale more than I do, anyway. 
You agree. Being a good leader doesn't mean you do everything yourself. Exactly. Don't blame yourself. This is literally your first leadership role. You're bound to make some sort of mistakes. Even I understand that. Of course, you ask us for help. We're your team members and your friends. And don't forget, we wouldn't have, te have a team at all without you. Mad Chemistry was your vision, and you gathered everyone together. Maybe to you it looked like I'd be a good leader, but I wouldn't have fared nearly as well in your shoes. If you say so, stop stressing yourself out about it so much. You don't need to t take all of the responsibility on your shoulders, you know. I'm here for you. If you need someone to talk to, we all are. Yukari meets her earnest gaze and manages a smile. Thank you, Mayumi. Just like the old days, you're always here to help me when I'm down. No wonder you're my best friend. Just try to relax. And remember, you can depend on us. We're all in this together as a team. Hi, everyone. I Sorry I can't stay for long. I'll be heading over to Anoshi Studios to, for a while today. Didn't they just say Ayashi Studios on like four panels ago? Gotta make sure things are progressing smoothly so we don't have any more major problems popping up out of nowhere. I won't make that mistake twice. As Yukari leaves the studio, everyone is hard at work. The room is quiet with a little more sa than the sound of shuffling papers. After a moment, Shunsuke breaks the silence. Sure is dead around here these days. Megumi nods. I know Yukari's the loudest one on the team, but I didn't expect to feel str this strange when she left the studio leaves the studio. I know what you mean. Yukari's the one who brought us together. If it wasn't for her, we wouldn't be working on Mad Chemistry. Our dreams wouldn't be anywhere near a reality. I hope she doesn't still feel, still feel too guilty about what happened. She certainly is passionate. And I'll never forget how we first met. You mean when she went to the restaurant that night to ask you about joining the team? For a long moment, Yuko is silent, and then last she shakes her head. No, she, she doesn't remember, but we met once before. What happened? She saved my life. Really? She's exaggerating. Maybe, but at the time it didn't feel that way. There was a group of inf students infamous for being bullies. You didn't want mess with them. You just let them do what they wanted. I remember them. I bumped into them one day, and it was an accident, but, well, it's how they were. They were shoving me around and cursing at me. I couldn't get away. Then Yukari saw what happened. She marched over and yelled at them to leave me alone, punched the leader in the nose, and pulled me out of there. That would have been hilarious to see if this was actually instead of a visual novel or hell they could have actually put that in flashback scene or something. It would have been beautiful to actually see some sort of character development for Yukari other than worrying about what's going on and if she's having issues with the directing and stuff of the anime. She actually hit him? Yep. I thought we were so dead, we ran clear across town. You should have heard her when she got home. Yukari, this, Yukari, that. You'd think Yukari was a superhero or something. Oh, stop. To me, she was. She saved me and never thought about twice about it. She said she had to help someone in need, and it didn't matter how big or scary those guys were. And they never bothered you again? Oh, and they never bothered you again. Huh? How do you know? I, uh... It just sounded like a fitting end to the story, that's all. Shunsuke, were you the one you could have punched in the nose? He quickly looks a away. Huh. <sighs> what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments on that one. They never came near us after that. I always wondered why. I know. I bet I was... I bet there was another hero lurking in the shadows who was impressed by Yukari's courage and took the opportunity to scare them off for good. A secret hero in the shadows? Come on, things like that don't happen in real life. Huh, the shadow knows. Aw, man. Don't be such a downer, Sumiko. It's possible something like that happened. Strange to hear it from Mr. Logical. He shrugs and clears his throat. Alright, enough reminiscing. We have a lot of work to do and only a limited time to do it. So let's show you everything is going to be fine. Yeah, let's do this. The studio is quiet, still quiet without Yukari, but the atmosphere isn't as oppressive as it was before. Yuko works with a smile on her face, as if telling the story lifted a weight from her shoulder. Shunsuke devotes himself to the storyboards with renewed energy. As for Sumiko and Mayumi, they act determined to restore optimism to the team. 
team if you're force of will alone if necessary. When Yukari returns later that day, cheerful greetings meet her at the door. It's almost as if that incident with the keyframes never happened at all. Yes, this is what I kind of wanted. Yes! Despite her worries about the future, she still can't help but smile back. Her responsibilities no longer seem so difficult to bear. Well, it says on this, these websites that these consultant, this website that consultants provide help on finance and legal matters, offer leadership courses and more. Darn, their service costs more than the rent for this studio. I wonder how much money we have. She sex the studio's fi financial records and gasps in dismay. We've already spent that much? No good. We need an emergency meeting pronto. I doubt that's gonna work. Yukari, I get the impression you didn't call us here for a fun meal. You got that right. We've got a huge problem. At this rate we're spending our money, we won't be able to stay afloat until production. What should we do? Making money isn't easy. Aw, oh, there are a lot of ways we can earn money. Such as, well, uh, I already have a suggestion in mind. Yeah, everybody pitch in. And it would be, ac it'd help, and it would actually... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It'd be like a team thing. They're working together as a team to actually build upon it. That's the best way for our studio to carry on in a financially stable manner. You're asking a lot, but I'm with you all the way. Yeah, I want to see the project through to the end. Sparing some personal expenses is a sacrifice that I'm willing to make. I agree. This might be our only chance to meet our deadline, so count me in. Thanks, everyone. We'll definitely see Mad Chemistry come to fruition. Are you ready to go to the recording studio, Yukari? Yeah, let's head over there. Alright, I think that's a perfect time enough to go ahead and wrap up today's episode of Ass Anime Studio Simulator. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like down below, comment, subscribe for more, and as always, have a wonderful day.